welcome back to my channel it's modesty 33 here aka crystal with a c i'm back at you with another video and this video is going to be um somewhat of a reveal slash review of a bag that i've been using um for travel as you may or may not know i've um gone on a um, few trips recently so um i have you know purchased a few travel pieces one of them you've seen before in one of my videos which is my louis vuitton keep all 50 which i absolutely love um i've carried it three times now um going on like kind of weekend short trips as well as my trip to london back in um, late june early july and i absolutely love that bag but this video i'm going to be talking about a new bag and this is a bag that um this is probably one of those youtube made me do it purchases let me move the camera a little bit so y'all can and i have a new do y'all um my mom did my hair over the weekend and it is crocheted so this is like crocheted locked lock hair so you're gonna see this for a while in all my future videos i'm sorry i'm just kind of adjusting because i want you to kind of see the totality of what i got going on let me try to sit back as well a little bit um so hopefully that's in focus you all can kind of see but um yeah so just wanted to go ahead and do this review video of this bag that i've used twice now i used it um when i went um to houston texas which was last weekend and then i also used it this past weekend when i had to go um back home um to visit my family so um without further ado i did you, you know you've already seen the thumbnail of this bag but um this is the louis vuitton sex sport and i'm just going to give you a, a few details about this bag it's not your typical bag that you see here on youtube actually um one other person i've um seen as far as this bag and they've done like a review it's like their favorite bag and i'm gonna link her video below in this video um th that's dre lux tv hopefully i got that correct but i am subscribed to her so deborah if you're watching hi i love your videos and i was so moved by your review about this bag that i had to look into it and got it myself so um let me go ahead and talk to you a little bit about the bag and give you the details and kind of tell you why i bought it so this again is the louis vuitton and it's called the sack sport and um i just kind of pulled out some information um from one of the websites that i looked at when i was looking into buying this bag but i actually bought this bag from ebay um, from a japanese seller on ebay but um it's no longer sold at louis vuitton so it's considered a vintage piece i think this bag was made from like 1986 or 7 through like 1990 um, I don't really see, when I was looking up these bags, I don't really see a lot of these bags that are made like after 1990 or like before 1985, I would say. So I think it was just made for a brief period of time and then it was discontinued. So this again is called the Louis Vuitton Sex Sport and um, it's no longer in production as I mentioned before and it is considered like a men's bag. It's like a men's gym bag. So um, what's unique about this bag, I mean, besides the shape of it, is um, it's soft on the bottom, so it's very malleable on, well, soft on the top, should I say, correction. So it's very malleable on the top, it's a soft top, but the bottom here is a hard bottom. And so it's very structured at the bottom. There's a zipper here where you can um, undo it, and I'll show you what I have in the bottom here. But basically, you can put items here in the bottom but with that, and we're going to get into that as far as, you know, details about this bag. So I'm not going to get into like pros, cons or good, bad or whatever with the bag yet. So I'm just now kind of giving you a description of it. So as far as the dimensions of the bag, and again, I'm kind of reading from this website, um, across here, the length of it, um, or yeah, well, yeah, um, or the width, should I say, the width of it here is 17 inches. So it's 17 inches in width. Um, as far as um, the height of it, it is 12 inches from top to bottom here. And then the width of it here is going to be 9 inches. So it's a pretty good size bag. I think it's comparable, comparable to like a Neverfull GM. Um, I don't have those dimensions with me to really compare it for you. But, um, you know, this bag was made in France. It comes with um, a luggage tag. It also comes with 
um, the little thing. I don't know what it's called offhand now to put the straps together, but this bag didn't come with that because again, it was used and it just didn't have that part. But it's not a big deal because I just kind of carry it kind of like you would carry a speedy. Um, so it doesn't have a strap attached to it, but it does come with a lock because here with the zipper compartment, um, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see. But uh, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I am going to bring it closer so you can kind of see what's in the bag. And I'm going to unpack the bag as well so you can kind of see what fits in there. But the zipper compartment, you, um, it, you can put a lock on it if you'd like to lock it here. As well as on the bottom, you can also lock it. So that's kind of the dimensions and the structure of the bag. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer because we're going to go ahead and unpack the bag. But, um, you know, the other part of this bag, too, is um, the lining is kind of like it's a wipeable interior. So you wouldn't have to worry about necessarily like spilling anything. You can clearly wipe it up and I'll show you that as well. And so I think that's everything as far as, you know, the specifications of the bag. So we're going to go ahead and get into the um, unpacking of it. And I'll kind of tell you, too like why I got this particular bag because I, you know, as far as a luggage piece is concerned, um, I didn't necessarily need it. I do have a Neverfull GM, but again, I just thought it was very unique. Um, and I just thought like, so I'm, I, I am getting into why I bought the bag, but, um, I thought it was very unique when I saw Draylux TV, when she reviewed it on her channel. And so I was just like, man, that's really cool. And then I really liked the fact that it was a hard bottom and that you could put like your shoes in here as opposed to like putting them in with like your regular clothing items and all that, there was like a clear separation. So I just thought that that was really cool about the bag. Um, so I just really looked into it and, and saw one that was in really good condition. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. But without further ado, so that, that's essentially why I bought it. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into um, the unpacking of this bag. I just got back from Florida over the weekend so I didn't need to carry too much in this particular bag and I also brought my key ball with me as well so this is just kind of some of my knickknack items and toiletry items that are in this particular bag and this is pretty much the same items that I carried when I went to Houston Texas maybe I had a few more in here but um, it's pretty much as far as the contents is pretty much the same so I'm going to pull you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see me pulling out the items from the bag. All right, let's see. So hopefully that's a good angle, you guys. All right. <clears throat> All right, so it has a double zipper on the top. So that's pretty cool. And then this is what it looks like on the interior when you open it. So again, this lining here is slightly yellow, but um, it's wipeable. And it has a little tag here that says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. So that's what it looks like on this particular side. And it does have a zipper compartment right here. And then if you turn it around on the other side here, it's got two slip pockets, like one here and then there's one here. So we'll go ahead and start with the zip um, pockets or we'll start with the interior compartments and then we'll get into the body of it. So hopefully um, we can go ahead and do this pretty quickly. So in this one slip pocket here, let me bring in a little bit closer. All right, that's a good angle. So in this compartment here, I have some purity wipes. This is from, oh, I think it's upside down, from Philosophy. And again, these are just kind of purity wipes. Um, and I bring those um, instead of like bringing my Clarisonic when I go out of town. Um, some sanitary napkins, just in case. So I have a few of those. All right, I also have some wet ones. Um, these are good like little sanitary cloths or wipes um, when you're, you know, if you just wanna wipe off your hands or you're not able to wash your hands at the time. Sanitizer is good, but sometimes, you know, your hands get sticky and it's good to wipe them off. So that's what was in those two slip compartments here. Let me turn it around and show you what was in the zipper compartment. So in the zipper compartment here, I just have some deodorant and it's just some suave 24 hour deodorant, nothing special. And then what else do I have in here? This is like another pair of glasses. I carry, you know, two pair of glasses with me, one on my face and one extra pair. These are just some um, shower caps when I, you know, take a shower so my hair doesn't get wet. 
So, and I can't contain my hair all in one cap, so I have two. So that's what was in the zipper compartment, so not too much. So let's get into the body of this bag. So we'll just start pulling out stuff. So in this little plastic bag here, ooh, and I actually need this because I need to make a return. Um, this is when I went to Walmart in Houston and I ended up buying um, this postcard. And I'm keeping this postcard for myself. I got one for my mom as well. But um, this, I love postcards that are of like evening skylights when I go to cities. So, um, you know, I have postcards from Ireland, from Paris, as well as from London when I went 10 years ago. And I still have those postcards. So now I'm happy to have this one of Houston, Texas. Um, and be on the lookout for that video as well, you guys. That one is going to be coming up soon where I talk about um, my tr recent trip to Houston and kind of some things that I enjoyed about it. But that's what's in this bag is this um, postcard. I had a few other things in there, but it was just some kind of knickknacks that I gave away to family members as far as like souvenirs and keychains and all that. So that's what was in there. Also, I have this Japanese cherry blossom lotion. If you watch my other video, you know I can't, I can't operate without lotion. And my favorite lotion are... Um, Bath and Body Works. This is the Japanese Cherry Blossom and um, the lotion that I use is the Ultra Shea Body Cream. So that's the one I, I use. You know, there's like a thinner one that's a little bit cheaper, but mm -mm, I, I have to have the thick lotion. I do apologize. Well, I don't apologize because I love that lotion. Um, this is an umbrella for obvious reasons. It rains. Um, this is like just kind of like a head cloth that I wrap around my head, you know, just to keep my edges in check and my hair not going everywhere. Um, I have, this is the cord for my iPad. And my iPad was in here, but I was reading off the dimensions of this bag on the iPad, but it was in here as well. Um, this is just a little pouch compartment. I have some more sanitary napkins in here. Um, this is just a little plastic bag and I have some oils in here. This is olive oil and then this is um, an, an oil that I usually um, put on my scalp. It's a growth oil. It's not this, you know, this says Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Grow and Restore Hair Serum. That's not what's in here. This is actually another oil, but I've multi-purposed this bottle for that other oil. It's like from Okai um, Black Jamaican Castor Oil. Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't know exactly the full name, but it's from the brand Okai. But that's what's in there, and I keep it in that plastic bag because that oil has been leaking, so don't want it to get in the bag. So I have my pochette accessoire here. I don't really have anything in here. I probably had some stuff in there, but it's probably my purse now. But I do have um, this black opium um, from YSL perfume, like a travel perfume in here. And then I also have my um, Chanel Mademoiselle Travel Perfume. So that's what's in, um, well actually it's in my mini pochette which is inside my pochette accessoire. And then I also have like a nail file as well as some tweezers that are in here. And that's, that's pretty much all that's in here. And I kind of was just using that as a catch all but then I ended up carrying a bigger bag so I didn't really need that stuff in there. Um, this is just a little notebook that I have. I write down um, some scriptures in here for memorization. So that's kind of what this is. Um, yeah, you know, just different scriptures I'm trying to meditate on. Um, Bible, Bible scriptures, should I say. So that's what that little notebook is for. I also have... Um, the main choice hair vitamins. If you haven't watched that review, I did that review not too long ago about these particular vitamins. And I actually need to take these today. So that's what's in there. And this is like a charger. It's probably for the iPhone, or not iPhone, but um, the iPad. I was using this cord for that charger. So then I have um, my like travel Bible in here. And this is a New Living Translation version. So I have that. Um, in here I have this little bag. I have my travel toothbrush, which has this little thing on there to protect the bristles and keep it sanitary. I also have um, some super floss and I use that. Um, I, I use two different flosses because I had braces, but I also had, um, I'm not gonna show you all that, but it's just like um, a, a wire. It's not a wire, but I don't know how to describe it, but basically it's holding 
my teeth together in position. And so it's permanently, yeah, on, on like a few of my top teeth here, as well as some of my bottom teeth that, that I have a wire. So I can't floss with regular floss. I have to use this threaded floss for those. So I have this floss and then I have another floss in there as well. It's not important. It's just really the floss that they give you at the dentist's office. Um, I have this in here. I've had this for years. It's a journal that came with um, something I bought with Lord of the Rings. So I've had this for years and I used it as like a journal years ago and then I stopped writing in it. So I just recently like start back writing in it. Actually, I think I'm almost done. But um, so when I'm done with this, I'll have another notebook I'll journal in. But wanted to finish what I started. So I'm trying to be consistent. So this is just a journal I carry with me as well. And then um, this right here is um, the dust bag for my Chanel wallet on chain. I was carrying it in here, but then I was using it, so I just had the dust bag sitting in there. And then, what is this? This is a coupon for Target. Okay, expires November 1st, so it's still good. And it's for some Kavita kombucha, which I do drink, so I um, have to keep that in mind. It's a dollar off one. I've got my selfie stick in here, and then I also have um, a wide tooth comb. So, and then there's like a sticker it looks like that's kind of stuck in the bottom of here. Okay, we got that out. So, um, that's everything that's in this top compartment here. Um, again, this is like a soft. So, like if you if I put up the bag, you can kind of see again like it just is very soft and it'll go down. So, and I just have a few charms on the outside. This is a luggage tag that I need to get. Um, yeah, I actually need to get this luggage tag monogrammed. I don't know what I'm going to monogram it with. But um, this is like another little bag charm. Um, this is like a little keychain that I got from the Broadway show Wicked when I was in London um, back in June slash July. And then um, this is a keychain I just bought when I went to Houston. So it says, don't mess with Texas is what it says on here. So it's just a little keychain. I got it from one of the Walmarts. And then let's get into the bottom compartment here. And one thing I forgot to mention about this bag that I really like, um, and that's what I really, um, want, this is kind of like why I wanted to get this bag specifically for airport um, travel is because of the fact that, um, I'll show you on the bottom here, it actually has five feet. So when you put the bag on the ground, it's not getting dirty. Like the bottom of the bag's not getting dirty because it's got these five feet. So it kind of helps um, with the longevity of your bag and the corners and all that. So I really like that as well about the bag. So we're just gonna unzip this bottom compartment and I'll show you what's in here. And we are at like 18 minutes with this video. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm almost done, you guys. So again, this is kind of the top part of the bottom. And then this is, again, what I have in this bottom portion here. Let me take that out for you. And I just have two pairs of shoes that are in this plastic bag here. Um, nothing special about them. I have a pair of flat white shoes Okay, that I got from Belk probably, I think, back in January. They're kind of dirty, so I don't want to put all that up there. And then I have a pair of white heels, um, plain white heels. I got these from JCPenney's. Probably, I think the beginning of this year as well. So um, that's all I have in that plastic bag there. So I just had these two pairs of shoes in there. And then in here, and this is probably a reveal of another item that I, I haven't yet shown you guys, but um, I can do a review on this one if you like. I've only used it like twice thus far, but um, it is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26, and um, it is in the Dami Azur Tahitian print. As you can see, it's kind of distorted. I've got a good amount of stuff in here, but um, I'll go ahead and show you what's in here. And it's just, I have like lip products in here that, you know, just options. You guys know I love lipsticks and stuff. And so I have some lip products in here in the little plastic um, Ziploc bag that, you know, I may have wanted to use on my recent trips. 
So that's what those are. And then I have like pretty much my makeup in here. I've got like a Kali Cosmetics eye palette and then some MAC makeup as well as um, this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I've got a plethora of different makeup in here, you guys. I'm not really brand loyal when it comes to like foundation and stuff like that. So then in this little bag, it's some of the rest of my makeup. Um, my foundation um i also have like a powder brush um i have like a bathroom spray um i have um some perfume mini perfumes in here like from my coco chanel um this one i think is the chance sample and then i have um what is this smashbox photo finish foundation primer so that's in here as well so and I keep all of them in like plastic little bags because the interior here is like a light pink. I don't be feeling like wiping it. So um, I just keep them in here just, you know, in the plastic so it doesn't get like messed up. So um, I like this item thus far. I kind of got it too to use it as like a clutch when I'm wearing like lighter colored dresses or outfits. So um, I really like it thus far. Okay. Yeah, I really like it thus far, so um, it's really cool. So that's what I have in here. So um, again, this is kind of the bottom of the bag. Now, let's get into like pros and cons, and I'm gonna be try to be real quick with it, you guys, because the daylight is um, soon escaping me. So let me pause for a minute and let me put this stuff down. Um, actually, I'm going to put this stuff back in the bag and then I'm going to go ahead and do my final observation. So give me a second, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Um, packed the bag back up and just wanted to kind of briefly talk to you about the pros and the cons of this bag um, because daylight is quickly leaving and my phone is about to die. So as far as the pros of the bag, I really like the fact that it's very unique and I've mentioned that before. Um, you don't see everybody with this bag. I really like the fact that it's got the feet on the bottom. So like when you do have it on um, a plane, you know, when you put it under the seat, it's not getting dirty. So I really like that as well. Um, I like that it's got two separate compartments where like if you wanted to pack this part this um, top portion with clothes and the bottom with shoes you know it'd be a good like little weekender bag um, especially if you don't have as many toiletries or little as many little items and trinkets as I do so um, I think that's really cool about the bag and you know it's pretty well separated um, and um, it's not very expensive it wasn't expensive in my opinion on eBay um, so compared to like other Louis Vuitton bags and this is, would be a good gym bag as well. Like if you were wanting to bring like a change of clothes. So those are the like pros that I can think of at this moment in time regarding the bag. Again, I've only used it twice. I used it, um, in the airport and then I used it in the, you know, when I took a trip home, um, and I drove home. So it was just sitting in the car. Let me tell you the cons of this bag though. Let me be 100% with you. And Dre Lux mentioned this, Dre Lux TV mentioned this in her video as well. And again, I'm gonna link her channel below and you can kind of see her videos where she talks about this bag as well. And she says that like, this is like her favorite bag in her collection as far as pre-loved. Um, for me, I haven't quite, you know, caught on to that yet, but I do still like the bag. I, you know, I still like the bag. I think I may just use it a different way um, to travel with on the airplane whenever I travel again, you know, on the airplane. So, but the issue I had with this bag when I traveled to Houston, um, and this is kind of like goes into my cons. Um, and she mentioned this before that it's heavy. Like, and I feel like I don't have to put much of anything in it and it's just heavy. It's heavy to carry like this. Like, this joint is heavy. I don't know how to describe it and I can carry a heavy bag, but this bag is feels like it's just really heavy. Um, and I think it's because it's so structured that the bottom part adds weight, even when you don't have anything in the bottom, because like when I came home from Florida, I didn't, I didn't have anything in the bottom because I put it in my key ball, but it was still heavy to me. So I don't know what that's about. And then, you know, it doesn't have a strap. So all the weight, like you have to carry it. So, um, I don't like that, that it's heavy and you really, you know, you don't have to pack it down for it to be heavy. It's just heavy. 
Um, the other thing that I don't like about this bag is, um, like, you know, I flew economy when I did my flight to Houston. I, you know, had a layover in Atlanta. Um, getting this bag in and out from underneath the seat was kind of difficult, especially when I was in a window seat. Now, when I flew back from Houston, I had two aisle seats um, on both of my flights. So that was a lot easier when I had the aisle seat to get this bag in and out when I needed to um get on the plane and get off the plane so that was good so i recommend if you're traveling by yourself and you're using this bag and you're putting it under your seat get an aisle seat if you're again if you're by yourself because it's to me it was kind of hard especially in the economy where the seats are so close together to get this from um like to get it from under the seat when i needed to exit the plane so that was kind of a hard part of it as well and then carrying this around the airport it was just really heavy so, um, and I actually need to take this bag to get repaired. Funny enough, because Dre Lux TV has the same issue and she sent her bag off for repair. And then when I got back, I noticed I had the same issue as well. But one of the grommets here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's missing. And it's like a little grommet here that's, that's supposed to say Louis Vuitton and it's on this side. So, um, one of the grommets here are missing. And I noticed that when I got back from Houston, so I actually will need to take this bag for repair because you can see it's, it's completely gone. So I don't know when I'm going to do that, but, um, I don't know, but, um, that's an issue I have as well now is that one of the grommets are missing. Um, I really wish this bag had a strap because again, with how heavy it is, it really would be helpful if it had a strap. But I think the next time I travel using this bag that I will, um, because I just had, when I went to Houston, I had my keep all 50, which is a shoulder bag. I had the bandolier, so it's a shoulder bag. I was able to carry that on my shoulder. And then I had to carry this just in the crook of my arm. But I'm, I'm looking into getting like one of those like little suitcases where, you know, it's on the four wheels and you can kind of just wheel it around. So I'm looking at getting one of those. So I think the next time I travel, I can just set this on top of the case and just kind of, you know, have it over the um, handle portion and wheel it around with the suitcase. So it, it won't be as bad to have it in the airport. So I think I'm going to do that the next time I travel. So and then just leave the keep all at the house or I could pack it in the suitcase depending on where I'm going or whatever. I don't know. But um, I do like this bag for travel on the on the airplane again as like a personal item just because again um, of the um, of the um, feet at the bottom, but it's just very heavy. So, um, you know, pros, cons, like if you're traveling with someone else, you know, maybe it's not so bad. They can kind of help you with your luggage. But, you know, the past few times I've been by myself traveling, so that's been kind of a bummer but otherwise i think it's a cool bag so these are just some things to keep in mind if you want some further information on this bag or any like you know if you want me to do another video just kind of an update or um any more information about this bag let me know in the comments below and i will certainly do that but um guys that's pretty much all i have for this video again just kind of wanted to show you this bag that i recently got and just kind of do a review of it from the past few times i've used it give you the pros cons and unpack it with you so you can see what all I fit in here. But it wasn't like a whole, whole lot. Like I feel like I could get more stuff in my Neverfull, but my Neverfull wouldn't be as heavy. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't feel like, you know, 20, 40 pounds like this bag does. But um, anyway, you know, if you want like a nice, unique bag, you know, and you're, you're not having to really carry this for a long period of time, you know, if you're taking it in the car or even on the airplane, but you know, um, you maybe you're traveling with someone else, so you've got one of those suitcases where you're not carrying it constantly. It's probably a good bag for you. So just wanted you to kind of keep those things in mind. But um, again, guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos, more reviews, um, and make sure you hit the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And also make sure you share my videos, make sure you, um, you know, give them a thumbs up um, and like the video. So um, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, the sunlight is leaving. It's almost eight o'clock in the evening. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.